Hello, dear Jana. Jana is our dear guest this afternoon, speaking to us from Berlin for the Belly Icons platform. Jana, thank you so, so much for joining us. You are our beloved uh, dancer. We worked on so many occasions and we look forward to working with you on many more occasions in London and other places. Thank you so much for finding a time to speak yeah. to us yeah. today. Uh, I will start with um, our traditional question about um, the lockdown and your everyday uh, life, your, your routine, um, how your training is going, how you're managing, of course, being a mother of two children. Uh, it must be very difficult, very challenging to, uh, to keep up with the training and looking after your children and being all together. And of course, with your wonderful husband, who is also a dancer. How is it going for you? Uh, actually, I'm enjoying this time because uh, uh, I have time for my kids and uh, for little one and I see how he's growing and it's uh, so important because normally uh, with the first child I missed this uh, time uh, because of uh, busy work and uh, now I have uh, uh, this opportunity to be with him and of course it's very difficult to keep in shape because it's uh, just like one or two hours in day and it's, I, I think it's not enough for the body to keep in shape so um, but it's a uh, life and uh, of course I'm enjoying to be home and uh, to be with the family of course of course uh, well uh we really, really have to stay positive and hope that uh, soon companies will be resuming, opening their doors and welcoming back their beloved dancers and will restart. Um, what perspectives in, in Berlin? Um, when uh, do you expect to be back at least to start training in the company? Uh, actually, we are already start. You just started. We start, but really like a six people uh, we come in and it's all like a plan for full day so it's nobody um, don't meet each other so it's really good planet and uh, we started already like for one week we are doing just only class and i found that it's really like uh, out of shape and even little combination you're doing and you're just like out of breeze and really hard and yeah i find that it's uh, uh, it's uh, given this two months you like you feel it uh, about condition of course, of course. well you 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 like sports people belly dance yeah, yeah. to go through this very hard routine on daily basis um when um, predictions and expectations for the ballet season to be open in the theater or, or is it too early to ask this question yes i think it's too early because they still decide they see how will be and situation maybe for performing just for 500 people and doing like maybe small performances not really full links so let's see we we don't know so could be decide soon yes, so. yes. Well, something we, we never really experienced before. And yeah. we, uh, we have to be very, very patient and see what... Yes, yeah. But we, we so much want to see you again performing and uh, really, really waiting for, you know, for this yeah. moment. Which, which role would you say you missed the most in this period? I um, really miss... Uh, uh, I'm supposed to dance uh, like Bayader, Ratmansky Bayader and supposed to dance uh, Giselle with, uh, with Daniel. So this is, I'm like really, oh, it's so sad that, that next season will be no Giselle and uh, I would love like again to dance and... <laughs> so we would hope for future opportunities for yeah, the yeah. schedule in the following <laughs> season or some, somehow such a discussion, yeah. of course. Um, you mentioned just um, Alexei Ratmansky. Uh, I would like to ask, uh, could you name a few uh, choreographers with whom you've enjoyed working the most? Uh, I did, uh, yeah, I, I had the opportunity with Matsek to, to do audition uh, for the next season. 
and I'm really enjoyed and I hope he will choose me uh, for his production but I'm not sure because uh, for uh, plays so many dancers and uh, so I, I like him and really appreciate and uh, would like to work with him. So. Uh, of course, you had uh, fantastic uh, classical training and you, you're amazing in uh, all the classical roles. Um, how do you find contemporary repertoire? Um, do, you, do you feel uh, more comfortable these days with contemporary repertoire? Is it on the same level as classical or you still feel you, you're discovering yourself and your body and you... you, you, you... <laughs> Yeah, it, it is, it's uh, like something uh, um, new for me, of course, uh, sometimes I feel I'm inside of the modern piece, but then I watch or do on the video or on the mirror, so I, I'm, I see me and then I say, no, I'm not good enough like other people. So uh, for the modern, I think I need still uh, work and still uh, create uh, me uh, for the modern. And of course, it's for me a challenge and uh, I would like and I would love to do more for the well, modern. It's a different kind of a language, of course. And yes, yeah. I think different dancers develop uh, real, real understanding of contemporary dance and movies yes. at yeah. different times of their lives. It's different for, for everyone. Well, we'll be very, very excited. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. More in contemporary yeah. roles, of course. <laughs> um, probably a question uh, which you've been asked many, many times. Uh, you're su such a uh, belly orientated family. Uh, how do you manage uh, when oh. you're dancing with your husband on the stage? Do you find uh, it difficult or it's just, just perfect and you never have any arguments? <laughs> uh, actually I'm enjoying it like with the years I mean understand that uh, um, my partner it's most uh, like uh, important in, in, when it's my husband it's I know he is uh, like closest person ever and uh, I could just uh, enjoy performing anything what whatever uh, because he is growing um, a very good partner, a very good person, and we understand each other, and with the years we help. And yeah, I think it's, um, of course, you have to find a balance and um, to see a situation or help to each other. And it's important. Well, this is yeah. really wonderful when the two beautiful, talented yeah. uh, people meet and they can do the same thing and they, they feel the same. Yes, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, for the moment, because of a little one and uh, uh, my husband take care about and I can be a little bit, um, take care about to come back in shape, to dance uh, more. And so he, he's staying with the baby and I'm, I'm back. <laughs> so... Well, um, a perfect husband. <laughs> exactly, an ideal husband. Yeah, yes. <laughs> In Oscar Twilight, but no, actually, hopefully not. <laughs> but it's very, very nice and very, very yeah, yeah. important for him to, to do this. Yeah, yeah, support me. You love his uh, dancing, you love him as a dancer very much and w waiting to see. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but th this is, of course, uh, very unusual for Belerina to have two children and to be so active on the stage. This is, you you're a hero. <laughs> Not many ma managed to do this. Um, would you say the second time it was easier to come back on the stage? Uh, can you... Yes, actually, with the second one, because uh, was the first one and uh, you don't expect and how you out of shape and it was everything new. And with the second child, I knew it how it will be. So I was prepared and then I prepared uh, mental and physically. So I know how to be back uh, fast. So, so it was you can, really, you can really. <laughs> Think and plan another one because now you you know very well. Yeah, maybe it. why not? Let's see. But uh, let's see. I, I wish uh, that age little bit uh, more older. That it's uh, because I find that two really small babies it's really hard. I find it myself. So I, I wish little bit uh, with the gap of the age and maybe let's see if uh, body gives. <laughs> well, this is this is really uh, you, you should be really congratulated on this. Yeah, and, yeah. Let's see. So so well, uh, Yana, tell us um, about 
your childhood memories when when you were uh, studying uh, learning ballet how soon did you know that you would like to take it very seriously and you would like to become mm -hmm. performing a dancer and what was the most challenging most difficult for you when you were studying Yes, uh, actually, um, my career was starting really fast and really um, I was lucky person ever. Uh, I start with uh, belly with the 12 and I knew it that it's Which is quite late uh, considering. Late, but I, I was in, already, I was uh, doing uh, gymnastic and uh, other belly style. So I had already a uh, body uh, prepared. And when I was 12, um, I decided, yeah, belly, why not? And my teacher says, but it's too late, but you have to push yourself if you really want. And then I said to myself, yeah, I want, I want this try. And it, it is, was a challenge for me to, to, to start something new and difficult. And with uh, 16 years, I become uh, not like principal, but... Uh, I got first roles with the 16 years and uh, I That's was on stage. Cool. Yes, after you've started, which is amazing. Yeah. Yes, so I, uh, during my summer holidays, I just took private, uh, um, uh, like a uh, work privately. I'm just work, work. I, I wanted this uh, because I missed it, this uh, beginning study and it was fast finished. So I, I just only was working like fanatic. And with 16, uh, I got the first roles and this is, was challenge and to be in the company when older um, dancers watching me and you have to improve and show yourself that you can dance. And this is, was really difficult and uh, it was a big step uh, to my career. So. What would be your advice to the young dancers? Uh, uh, just if, they're if you, sure, if they're not yeah. sure if they will be able to to become a known dancer, but at the same time they they love dancing and they have this passion, what, what would be your advice? My advice, uh, just to use it, uh, this um, uh, opportunity to learn to to use for the future for anything. You can uh, barely to use for any job. So to take it everything like a, like artist, you you can be art uh, like a actor or mm -hmm. painter or photographer. It's it the same the ballet. You just create this uh, position. So you take it everything inside of you, and then you learn. And if it doesn't go um, ballet on right away, you just keep this knowledge and you go on. And if you're lucky, you get something, you just go 100%, you're doing everything what you can. So this awesome. is my advice, yeah. To have lots of determination, of course. Um, you've been dancing in Ukraine, then of course in Germany, uh, you, you became a principal guest artist at the Royal Ballet as well. Different countries, different uh, theaters, People. different mm -hmm. styles, different uh, directors. Uh, how long does it take you to um, to adapt to a new director, to the new stage, to the new company? Or would you say you're a very quick and adaptable person? Yes, I am. I'm really like, I like extreme situation or I try sometimes uh, I have one day to learn daily full length and uh, I'm just go forward and just learning. Doing you managed this. one time to learn a new role in one day. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah, sometimes, yeah, and Amazing. because you don't have time and it, it is challenge and new company, new uh, director, new partner. So you have to adapt everything. And then it's, it was like a challenge for me. And uh, uh, I was addicted. Sometimes I was, I wanted more. I wanted to go on. Like sometimes I had a performance and next day I had like other performance and it was just crazy life. <laughs> so it's uh, just... When you perform, when you go on the stage, uh, if if you have any worries or any concerns, would be this more about anything technical, physical condition, or emotional, and how really to impress and move the audience? What would be your 
biggest concern and what would be on your mind just before going on the stage? Yeah, uh, I try to prepare for my performances really like taking time and before this uh, performance uh, from morning I start to prepare the role like how I would express and then technically how I could because normally you go on stage you just do like uh, life and sometimes situation can be happen sometimes not so you have to be aware of what you're doing so most important to be aware on the music and the uh, character this is uh, main things what I'm working for and of course the technique comes for someone like you who is so brilliant <laughs> Yeah, technique, it's every day in the class, you have to be placed and then it just, it's like a brush and teeth, you have to do it. Of course. Yeah. Of course. Well, and so uh, the final question is, uh, during this period, and obviously in Berlin, you're more progressed than in some other countries, you, you're already returning uh, to the theater and theater, yeah. back to, to work, but still, of course, the feelings and memories of this lockdown period must be very strong in you, yeah. in your memory. What is the biggest lesson you've learned from this period for you personally? For me personally, uh, because you never have time to take care about your body, take care about what you're eating, what you like. This is, was my uh, biggest step, like to learn to healthy food, to take care about this good sleep, a healthy food. And it's make you happy when you are healthy. So this is, was the biggest experience for me. And I learned a lot. And of course, I, I'm with family. It's a just beautiful time. Yes, they mm -hmm. they enjoying the time with you. And uh, yes, yeah. We, we have to see good and positive things. Yes, I'm really positive. Yes, yes. <laughs> very much. It was really, really wonderful to see you today. Thank you Thank so you. much Thank for you. finding time to talk to us. And of course, we are waiting for you. Thank you. Our next situation. <laughs> Take great care. Thank you so much again, and we'll see you very soon. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, Jana you. Salenka, thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Bye.